Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm so I'm fine. Hi, teacher. Hi. Todavía estoy trabajando. Eh, le aviso cuando llegue a la casa. Ok. Gracias. Vamos a ver. Hi, teacher. Hello. Tenemos nuevo alumno. Hola, Hello. Ay, qué precioso ese alumno. Hello. Hello, decía. Yo también voy a aprender a hablar inglés. Me gusta el cocoyo. Va, veamos cocoyo. <risa> Ay, está lindo. Tremendo. Y a esa edad hay que andarlos corriendo, ¿verdad? Detrás. Vamos sí. a ver cuántos hay ya. Oh, ok. We are nine. Tell me present, Adriana Sofía. Adriana, Sofía. Present. Present. Ana Cristian. Ana Grisel. Ana. No here. David? Present teacher. Diego Vázquez. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Lisette Ayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Teacher estaré de hoy antes de día. Eh, Rosa Hilda. Presente. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Okay. Bueno. I'm going to share. Okay. Ready? Present teacher. Mm. Hey, hello, Nubia. How are you? Present teacher. Okay. 
Ok. Vaya, Nubia y Bon, ¿verdad? Sí. Y Bon, Marcela. Nubia. Vaya. Hoy sí. Qué bonito. ¿Quién más se agregó después de que lo llamé? Ajá. No more. Vamos. Ok. Well, I'm sharing the, the screen. August 25th. Imagine. We're about to finish. When do we finish? Month. Next Wednesday, on, on Thursday, we go to September, the month of the donuts, <laughs> right? Okay, well, the, today the topic is analyzing production costs of product. Analyzing production costs of a product. That's the topic we have for today. And I have a couple of questions for you. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? And the last one, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product. Okay, I'm going to send you to groups for you to go discuss these questions. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the quick go. Uh oh. Bach. I'm going to send you <coughs> in groups of three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, groups of three would be perfect. <coughs> there you go. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, try to join. Mm. Try to join, 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 join. Grace Michelle. Hello. Hello, teacher. Rebecca is not here, pero Elda, me imagino que sí, ¿verdad, Elda? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, hello, are you ready to start? Uy, estaba en mute, <laughs> estaba hablando sola. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the question is, do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? I agree. Okay. 
Yes, I agree. Because you you need to know how much hmm. nobody here. Hello, is Lisa Dayanara here? Hi, Hello. I think he said he's uh, like a here. Oh, but she didn't say anything. Right in, in the in the WhatsApp. Oh, chat. hoy no cheque el WhatsApp porque me dejó. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Muy mala noticia para ir empezando la clase. <laughs> no estoy es cierto. No, me, no estoy, no estoy. Por eso hoy no, hoy no lo he revisado. Bueno, mi cel está descargando. También, ok. Sí, yo creo que sí, ahí la vi. Pero yo estoy contestando, Ticha. Okay. No Uy, mía, José Alfredo, José Alfredo, hello. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, hello, hello, hello. Bueno. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Estaré de oyente, al menos la primera hora. <laughs> the manufacturer of a new product. Okay. Next one. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Well, in my case, uh, we do, uh, I don't know how to say presupuestos. A budget. Budget about the, <laughs> the constructions or furniture, just that. And you? I don't know. I've been working in in a services company all my life. <laughs> oh, what? I have been working in a services company, so oh, I don't okay. know. Mm -hmm. Gastos y costos son palabras, son, o sea, son términos diferentes. Sí, son, son Entonces, opuestos. El, Ajá. Que no lo que a cost is something you will recover, a waste or as ajá, is something that you won't get. Back. Se ve con el costo es que el costo es recuperable en el tiempo. O sea, esa es la At the expenses. Um, Se le corta, Iván. Sí, tiene, tiene grillitos. <ríe> Ay, perdón, ¿y ahora? Hoy está mejor, sí. Ahí sí está mejor. Es que de repente se nos hace robot. Yo pensé que era mi internet. No. Ok, entonces en la 1. The answer to the question, teacher. Yes. ¿Quién, o, ¿quién, only ¿quién, hola? Teacher. ¿Mande? ¿Quién es Fabiola? A ver. A ver, teacher. Alguna visitante del más allá. Es que dice. <risa> no, hay alguien que se llama Fabiola, pero no me acuerdo el otro nombre. Porque dice que en su grupo nadie habla, pero. Se ha de haber quedado quizás en el, en el grandote. Con, no. los, con los oyentes. ¿Dónde está? Una, una pregunta. ¿Usted me puede interpretar la primera pregunta a su, a su forma? Ajá. ¿Do you agree that? That regardless of the size of the of a business, 
analyzing cost is essential to make profit. Uh -huh. Usted me la puede traducir a su forma. Okay, it, that it doesn't matter if the company or if the business is big or it is small. If it is always necessary to analyze the cost to make profit. Remember profit e ganancia, right? Sí, 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 sí. Mm -hmm. So if it is always important to, to analyze the cost independently of having a big uh, business or a small business. Okay. What is regardless, regardless uh, means? Regardless is como a pesar de. Ah, okay. The size of business, okay. Elmer Fabricio aparece como Fabiola. <laughs> Ah, pero es que si una vez también se conectó desde ese perfil. <ríe> y yo buscando así como que Fabiola, Fabiola. <ríe> ok. Ah, se había quedado allá. Por eso es que nadie le hablaba. Porque los que... Ajá, se... eso pensé que se quedó en el... Los en que el se han en la sala grandota. Sí, vaya. Sí, póngale que en el grupo en el que está es en el de José Alfredo, bueno, José Alfredo está de oyente, pero Carla Lorena, Nubia y Víctor, ¿cómo van a estar callados, verdad? Carla Lorena está de oyente. Tucho. Carla Lorena, pero Nubia y Víctor, ¿no? No. Ajá, la cosa es que él se había quedado allá y no se había venido. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hola. ¿Puede, porfa, enseñarme a responder la segunda? Yo voy a intentar decirle cómo lo hacemos en la, en la oficina. Mm -hmm. Dice, That's... have you ever uh, calculated? The price um, of product. Ajá. Um, nosotros importamos productos. Ajá. We um, import products and we, we make a... Um, I, ¿cómo se dirá? A plan for the taxes and, and fixes cost. Mm -hmm. But it's, but it's a, ay, no sé, estimado proyección. Uh -huh. And when the, the products arrive in, in El Salvador, uh, we have to check if it's okay or we have to fix uh, the numbers that we calculate before and before that we can set a price for the product o sea calculando yes first you have to calculate uh, the cost right how much do you how much are you investing in the in the product remember that you have to take into account everything Right, uh -huh. all every single coin that you have spent in the elaboration or the production of your product. Once you have calculated everything, then you can say, uh, "This is my profit." If no, if you don't know which are your costs, it will be very difficult to know which is your profit. Uh -huh. A profit is the same to margin. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. It is la ganancia, right? Yes. That's the, the <laughs> utility. Uh -huh. The utility that you get. That's the. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But first, remember there are many things to take into consideration later on in the reading. We will see all the aspects that you have to take into consideration when uh, you want to calculate the costs. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. Yes, definitely. But first, if you don't calculate the, the price of the product, 
how much, imagine, I'm making a, a, a notebook. So I have to check how much is this? How much is uh, the paper I'm going to use? How much is the cover that I'm using? And if later on I'm going to pack the notebook, how much am I going to pay for the package of the notebook? And if I have to pay for the electricity, the water, I have to uh, take into account the amount of money I'm paying to each person that is working. <coughs> In that way, you can be able to calculate the cost. And from there, <coughs> you have to get like, what is the profit that you want to get added to those costs for getting the price? <coughs> Sorry. This is super dangerous for the, the um, company that I work because we import <coughs> uh, everything mm -hmm. uh, to, for, to our fabric. And the price change so much because uh, the the price of the 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 freight. I no sé si se dice del del flete del the del transporte. The uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sí. Because antes costaban tres mil dólares y ahora quince mil. Wow. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces. It's too dangerous to calculate um, the price of the, the final price of the product. Mm -hmm. So then mm -hmm. they should get a margin and go ahead with the cost, right? So if you yeah. think, if, if you know the price is moving so fast, you have to calculate a margin, sacar la moda, right? To sí. What, what is the amount of money that you have to add to the cost? So you're not increasing the price of the product so often because people can lose interest in your product. And if you do not increase, you will be waiting, losing money. Uh-huh, so yes. That's right. Yeah, that's very important. And, and sometimes what companies do is that there is some time when they absorb those expenses, mm. right? They absorb the expenses for some time, but it's not possible to absorb the expenses all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have to know uh, when to absorb the expenses and when to pass them to the customer. But they cannot do that very often, as I said before. So. That's why you have to take a margin. If you see uh, the acceleration and how the prices are changing so often, leave a margin. So you don't have to make a change in the, in the price of the products so much or so often, right? And, and taking care that that price uh, don't get out of the market. Exactly. The, the price of the market. Exactly. Because the thing is that if the, if the product is too expensive, people will not buy it, right? Because we have to remember the competence that is around. So take, into account, take the, the, the competence into account and calculate so we do not lose money, but without exaggerating the price either, right? So like to keep a balance. Okay, now go for the fixed expenses uh, to calculate the prices. I'm going to check in the last group. And then I'm going to take you out to... Hi. Hi, Hi teacher. Only you, Nubia. What, teacher? Is Victor here? Victor, um, Jose Alfredo, Elmer. Uy, tantos. No, éramos Victor y Elmer. 
Ay, Carlita. Pero creo que solo estamos participando tres, teacher. Ajá. Yo creo que los demás están de oyentes, los compañeros. Mm. Creo que ahí avisaron el grupo. Alfredo de oyente. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did you finish? Finish what, teacher? Did you finish? Not yet. Teacher. Hola. Isa uh, expenses the energy. The energy is electric. Uh -huh. It's a Just variable cost. Variable cost. Sí, because in one mm. you can get one a fix, right? Fix. Uh, because one one month you can have one price. For one cost, and in the next month you may have something different. Mm. Which are uh, right. expenses, for example, for salarios. Mm -hmm. The impuestos, ¿cómo se dice? The taxes. Taxes. Tax. Okay. Uh -huh. If the company, El, if the IVA company, is, a, is a taxes. It's a yes. tax. Is part of the yeah. Okay. Bye. Check it. The definition for fixed expenses are any expense that does not change from period to period. Mm -hmm. You have a credit. Mm -hmm. You have, a, have credit. a change. Uh huh. Know that every okay. month you have to pay money for your credit. Um, if you have to pay the rent, like. It's mm -hmm. not your building, right? You rent in the building, you have to pay the lease every month. Uh, the bills, if you get the electricity bills, all the same, you know, every month it will be $60 of electricity, you give them them. If you know 10 water every month, the same. Those are uh, expenses because you know that they won't, they won't change. And if they buy right, they will be like, okay, last month I paid $60 of electricity, this month I paid $65. O sea, no hace el gran cambio, right? Right. Okay. Did you finish? That was the last you were missing. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Vámonos entonces. Okay. So.
We're going to wait for the others to come. And then we continue. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody back. Tell me, do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make a profit? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, everybody agrees. Of course, if you have a big business, you will have a large profit, right? But if you have a small business, you will have a small profit. But if you do not analyze the costs, you may be selling your product to a price that does not cover the costs, right? If, for example, imagine the pupusera, right? That is in the corner. She has to, uh, to take into account the dough, or if she buys the corn and she cooks the corn and she goes to the mill and then she goes back to make the pupusa, she has to take into account the corn, the gas that she uses for cooking the corn, the water she uses for washing that corn, the cal. I don't know how to say cal in English, that she puts to the corn to cook it. And then the money she pays in the meal to make the dough. The, and after going home, she has to consider the cheese that she uses, the beans, if she's going to make beans and cheese pupusas, if she bought ayotes, how much did she spend on that? She used salt, oil for frying the beans. So she has to think about all those things and the gas that she uses for preparing the pupusas at the, or for cooking the pupusas, right? If somebody's helping her, she has to pay that person. So she has to think about that too and consider all those costs. So uh, sometimes, we do not think about all those things. And we say like, why are the pupusas so expensive? And when you start making numbers, you see like, it's not easy. If you consider the time and put you put a price to the out of work of the woman who's making the pupusas, the one that is helping the woman who's making the pupusas, the one that is taking the pupusas from house to house. So you include key, at least three people. Oh, and we're not thinking about the curtido, right? That that's another expense. The curtido, the sauce, that the tomatoes are very expensive now. <laughs> so all those are things to take into consideration. So that's why I say, if you have a big business, you will have a large profit. If your business is small, your profit will be small. But if you don't analyze the costs, probably you will not make any profit, right? Or you can be saying, hey, I earn $50 and the gas 
your time, the oil, and many other things that you haven't taken into account, right? Okay, let's see the next question. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Yes, no? Have you? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? A long time ago, I was making bisuteria. Mm -hmm. So I had to, to calculate the price of the piedras, the stones, the, I don't know how to say, alambre. The wire. Yeah, the time. Uh, the time that I spent making the, the necklace, uh, los sellos de las, about the necklace, and yes, I, I, I calculate the, the price of the product. Was it easy, Anna? Um, as you are saying, as you already saying, eh, I understood why sometimes artesanías are not so eh, Cheap. cheaper. And I understood that you have to use a long time doing one, one piece mm -hmm. in, in the, the thing is you always work at night uh -huh. So, Night when time I, when, is more expensive than daytime. <laughs> so, since <laughs> that, since that experience, when I look artesanía, if the people say it costs twenty dollars, if I have the money and and, and I can uh, sell, gastar, I don't know how to say. Then I, uh -huh, I, I don't say no. It is too expensive. No, uh -huh, no, never, never, because. I understood the time, and maybe you you buy the toda la cadena de piedras, mm -hmm. but you don't use the oh. the same the same stone for the necklace. Uh -huh. So you have to buy many line of stones. Mm -hmm. So it, the cost it's mm, is up. Exactly. So yes. It, it's it's kind of may, maybe the people say no I imagine one one line of stones you can do the necklace in and it's the, no but it is not mm -hmm. and imagine so when analyzing the cost something very important that people never include is the time the time you are investing to do something. I remember okay, long time ago when my daughters were babies, I used to make vinchas, like the ones you put to the to the little girls on their hair. At the at the end, I made them very, very fast. In 15 minutes, I finished one. And I have the whole thing here. But then it took me other 15 minutes to make a, a round flower, a little flower to put in the middle, to sew the, the bean chat, to close it, right? To paste all the things together. And it took me, okay, about 30 minutes to do one bean chat. And teacher, you have to add you have to add the creativity that the time that you spend thinking how it how this how uh, product to decorate it, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is time to yes. So imagine at the end, people were paying for a vincha. I guess it was three dollar, three dollars fifty. But it had taken me. 30 minutes. My, uh, my hour, in one hour, I made two. So $7 for two hours of work and the material. So you have to think about the costs perfectly. That's why now many machines are the ones that do those things, right? And the Chinese people came to, to take the market because things are cheaper 
when they are coming from another country, or from China in this case, right? Because if we make things with our hands here, they are more expensive. For example, making a cup. Now, this has appeared again, right? But in the past, it was very popular and cups were very expensive. People paid about cinco, seis, siete colones, colones for a cup. Later on, the Chinese cups started coming and people were paying two colones for a cup. Then the ones that were seven dollars that were made by hand were not sold anymore because they were too expensive, right? So the market changed. But that is because the costs lower when you are making a bigger quantity because you buy all the materials cheaper, right? So that's why this, this is essential when you're planning a business. Now, tell me, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of the product? What are three things that you should consider that they will never change. So they will always be there every single month. What three things can be that? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jose Alfredo? Any idea about which are the three expenses that will never change? Chair, um, yes, Victor. Uh, expense that never changed or never could change, at least for for a few or long time, is is the rent of building. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. If if you are not the owner of the building, but you renting, you should include in your costs every month right? Because you will have to pay it every month. What is another cost? You can find Hello? cost or fixed expenses. Tell me. What is? Tell me. Electric energy. The electric, electricity. Yeah, all the bills, right? The utility bills. Electricity. Water. The raw material. The raw material is not fixed because taxes. Uh -huh, it's not fixed. That's a, bar a variable expense or a variable cost because one month you can find one price, the following month can be a different price. And sometimes they may vary a lot, right? But this, this term, these things are always a are always the same. That is any expense that does not change from period to period. So you come one month and you pay $60 of electricity and $10 of water to say something, right? And you pay the $300 of the leasing of the, of the place where you have the, the business. But they, are always the same. So you see, the mortgage, what is mortgage? Hmm? Okay. Who can tell me what is mortgage? Gracias, muy gracias, Uh -huh. What's the mortgage? Hello? La hipoteca, right? If you have an hipoteca in your bill, in your, so you buy, you bought the place, but you're still paying it. So that's the mortgage, the rent payments, the utility bills, like what we were saying, electricity, water, the telephone, that are all the time the same. Loan, if you have a un préstamo, right? Uh, some people make a get a loan for make, uh, building the, the 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 company or the or the business, 
then they have to pay the loan and it's always the same amount of money. Then these are fixed expenses. The amounts may vary slightly, so very little, which may be the case with utilities, like when you talk about the electricity, that one month you can pay $60 and probably the following month that will be 62 or 65. But it varies in a very little amount that of course makes a difference at the end, but not that big, right? And it's a cost that the company can absorb without a problem. Uh, but what about those costs or those products that you buy like the raw material that one month you can buy it at one price, the following month it can be in a different price. That will be a not a fixed expense, but a variable expense or a variable cost, right? Any question here? Teacher, in my case, mm -hmm. um, in, in, in the company, in, the, in my workplace, uh, for all the sales, the salesmen, uh, page like a 2,000, no, $200 mm -hmm. in a fuel cost. Okay. That's is that, is that a, a, a... Like a salary. A fixed expenses? See. Si. Like a salary, right? Uh, mm, algo así. <laughs> okay. So if that is all the month, it will be the same to the same number of employees, that can be a fixed expense too. Mm -hmm. Because it is always the same. And you know that all the time you have to pay it. But if, for example, one month you say, well, uh, the bonuses, Bonuses, if they are always the same amount, they can be also fixed expenses. But if one month you will receive one, you will give one quantity or one amount of money to the employee and the following month you will give different one. Or if you give that amount of money just to the best ones, that is not fixed, right? Because it changes. Mm -hmm. But these are a, uh, expenses that do not change, that they keep on the time, right? They continue being the same from time to time. Any other question here? Nope. Bunch of us. We will go to the reading here. Uh, you're going to read the following text featuring tips. These are, these are tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. Yeah, tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. I'm going to make three groups. One that will, uh, you will read about the cost of production. The other group will read about the market demand for a product or service. And the other one will read about determining the markup of a product. Okay, so I have I have a, put in a different color some words that I consider basic for a, the analysis, right? Of of what you're going to be reading. I'm going to give you some time for you to go read your part, analyze it, and then I'm going to change all the people who are reading number one number two and number three. So I'm going to mix you so you have the chance to discuss the three uh, topics. Vamos a ver. Let's go. Oh, we're 20. 20, 20, three groups of 10. Mm, too many people, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, three groups of 10. Ni que fuéramos 30. How many? Vamos a ver. Two groups of seven, one group of six. Sí, algo así sería. Shh. 
I made four groups because it's better five, five, five. Uh, so go group number one, Adriana Marcela's group, go to the first part. Elmer Fabricio's group, go to the second part. Adriana Sofia, go to part three. And Ana Alicia, you go to number one again. Okay? Ready? Okay, teacher, yes. Ready, ready. Let's okay. go. Part three. Try to join. Grace Michelle. Grace, hello, are you here? Hi, hi. No quito a Ana, teacher. Sí, fíjese que la, me los iba a llevar a todos, porque tengo unos grupos menos tristes allá, pero empezaron a entrar. Por eso. Y ahorita todavía no le digo a la novia que todavía no ha llegado, pero... Ah, pues, me, lo, ah, pues me lo voy a llevar, David. Vaya, teacher. Para que así usted no tenga que estar leyendo. Hoy. Eh, Gracias, lo voy a dejar, ajá, lo voy a dejar en, en grupos de, entre grupos, porque. Ah, entonces, cada grupo va, va a analizar cada parte. Sí, sí, sí. No sé quién, quién quiere ir leerlo. Uy, no, no. Me. Okay. Bye. Bye. okay. Um, the, cost the cost of production. Fixed and variable cost determine, determine, determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed cost include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Also, it might be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help, to help you is um, to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. That's all. Okay. So we have a you have to analyze it and be ready to explain that to the others. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. I think that the important is that we have a, a, ¿cómo se llama? a formula to calculate mm -hmm. the cost of production. And that formula mm -hmm. is, is uh, to help us. Uh, 
But your total fixed load. cost to your cost. Uh -huh. Verdad? Then you mm -hmm. divide the total, the total by, total by your estimated total uh -huh. sales. Uh -huh. And then you have your cost of production per, per unit. Mm -hmm. And what else? What else? What else? That is important. There is the formula, right? Yeah, there is the formula. And, uh -huh. Another thing that I think is important is that you have to your variable cost and your fixed cost. That that all the selling that's price of a business. Another thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I understand. Uh -huh. Terminate the selling price. Uh -huh. Esto es importante that, that we have to, to mention. And what else? What, what else? Mm. That include the, the fixed cost? Mm -hmm. Fixed cost and esto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y los variable mm -hmm. costs. Right. Ajá, uh -huh, variable costs. Casi que todo. Oh. <laughs> this, this, this uh, topics remember me when I was in the university because we, we analyze all those all those things. Uh, I I was I I connected when I when you was discussing the first question that if we that the new teacher uh, ask if we calculate the cost of a product and in the university I cal yes we, but we calculate a, a totally the creation of a plant of manufacturing uh, tables. Oh. So you have to create the all the plant, you have to create the the table, the the design of the table, and you have to create the you have to analyze and analyze and calculate the all the all the all the cost for for the product and in how much time you're gonna recuperate the the in, inverse inversion inversion in, the investment in base uh -huh. uh -huh. investment okay. Ah, okay so it's it's very 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 difficult to calculate all those things but it's it's very interesting yeah. Yeah, I remember I had to calculate uh, also my my specialization course was in emprendedurism. Entrepreneurs. Oh. Right, in inter entrepreneurs. So we had to create design a product since the brainstorming, design the product, made the prototype and all the process that we're discussing here, but we had to do everything until that day when we had to present it, justify it and sell it. Yeah, I remember. And that was very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you finish? I don't know if anyone wants to say something. <laughs> Finish, finished. Yes, yes, teacher, no teacher. <laughs> I think we are ready. <laughs> Bacha, right now we, I'm going to take you out. We have to call attendance first.
50 seconds. Mm -hmm. A ver, 15 seconds and everybody will be back. Nubia, at the beginning I was in your group and I don't know what happened. I moved you. <laughs> I moved you. You were wrapped to another group. Vaya, let's see. It tell me present, right? Hey, Sofia, Adriana, Sofia. Present. Ana, Alicia. Present, teacher. Ana, Gretel. David. Present, teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Primer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne, Ivonne, ya no volvió Ivonne. Recuerden que aunque no me, no digan nada en clase, pero este es un requisito decir present cuando se pasa lista, ¿se acuerdan, verdad? Hello. Ivonne, Ivonne, Ivonne. Yes, teacher. Tell me present. No está Ivonne, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisette. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. No está Carla. Mm -hmm. Elise Dayanara, Nubia Sulema, present teacher, Rebeca Marcela, present teacher, Rosa Hilda, present teacher, Víctor Manuel, present teacher. Karen Stephanie, Adriana Marcela, present teacher, José Alfredo, José Alfredo, hello, se durmió José Alfredo, no se ve. José Alfredo, hello, hello, hello. Present puso en el chat, teacher. <laughs> ok. Más bien no es de audio porque me oye, es de speaking el asunto. Vaya. Ok, bueno, les dije. You finished discussing, right? Sí. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I'm going to send you now, check. With people. Aquí tengo Adriana, Marcela, Elba, José Alberto, no sé si Lizeth Dayanara está. No. 
Karen. Ya creo que iba a estar de, de oyente. Ay, pero es que en no. el chat de WhatsApp. <risa> pero es que estos oyentes no me oyen, fíjense, porque les pregunto la asistencia y tampoco me dicen. Teacher, sí le escucho, pero tenía problemas con el micrófono. Ah, va. Porque así sí es oyente que por lo menos oye, el que no oye no es oyente. El mer. Alfredo. Nubia. Perdonen que los moleste, pero si no lo molesto yo, ¿quién? <ríe> Victor. Vamos a ver. I'm here. I'm here. I'm ah. here too. Ajá. Ya van a ver, oye. Ajá. Vamos a poner a cantar. ¿Qué era lo que iban a cantar, Ana? ¿Se acuerda? Y vamos a poner a cantar a todos los que no. no I don't remember. <risa> vamos a poner a cantar a todos los que no desvían presen rápido. Jennifer y Rosy. Vaya, es que lo que quiero hacer ahorita es mandarlos mezclados. Tengo. Vamos a. Ah, ok, lo voy a hacer, lo voy a hacer manualmente. No, cerrar, ciérrense. <ríe> Lo quiero mandar de tal manera que haya uno del U, por lo menos uno del uno, uno del dos, uno de, para que vayan ustedes a compartir la información que como grupos leyeron, ¿verdad? Para que así compartan eh, cada quien. Ya cada grupo ya sabe qué leyeron y tengan el chance de hablar todos allí. Porque cuando me reportan aquí en clase, solo me habla uno del grupo. Entonces, ahí cada quien del grupo va a tener chance de irle a contar a los demás qué fue lo que leyó, qué discutieron y qué entendieron en su grupo. ¿Sí? Y con ese grupo van a contestar las preguntas que están basadas en ese reading. Oye. Vamos a ver. Los voy a ir mandando de a poquito. Adriana Marcela. Elmer no está de oyente, ¿verdad? No, Ticha. Vale, perfecto. Y Adriana Sofía. Vaya, vale, ya están. Uh -huh. Para que compartan cada quien. Elda no está de oyente, ¿verdad? No, teacher. ¿Alfredo sigue de oyente todavía? Ah, no tiene micrófono, me dijo. Nubia. Y Ana. Cada un representante. Un representante de cada grupo. Number three, Alberto. Vamos a mandar a José Alberto here. From room number one. Rebeca está de oyente. Yes, teacher. Sí, sí, sí. Víctor. Víctor sí está, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Y Rosy. Rosy. Uy, me perdió. Vaya. Vaya, ¿cómo va, David? Ya casi llego, Ticha. Va, ok. Y quiero ver. Eh, hmm. Alfredo y Rebeca, oyentes. Karen, oyente. Liseta y Anara está de oyente, ¿verdad? Pues no. Yes, teacher. Ivón. Ivón, Ivón. Ivón, no está. Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Usted está. <ríe> yes, yes. Está, no está. Ok. Vale, pero no, no me alcanza para hacer un grupo con todos los demás. Ups. Bueno, lo voy a mandar. Uy, tengo cuántas almas aquí. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, bueno, aquí lo voy a mandar a 4, Marcela, Jennifer, y José Alfredo, Diego, Karen, va, ahí dense copia. Y los voy a llamar luego a report, reportarse. Voy. There you go. Go, go, go. Join, join. Remember, you're reading and then answering the questions to be ready to share. Ivón, Ivón, José Alfredo, join, join. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. ¿Está Ivón por aquí? Sí, yes. por aquí estoy. Ah, va. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Vamos a ver. Por ahí está José Alfredo. I imagine he can at least listen and give you some opinion. Mm -hmm. Vaya, chicas. Go. Uh, you're going to give a check to the reading. Share your ideas with your partner and answer the questions. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I should be going. Like labor and materials, and practically you have a a formula for calculate the cost of production, and the formula is uh, you have to add the fixed cost uh, that represent your vari your total variable cost, and you divide the total uh, by the estimated. <coughs> Perdón, <coughs> estimated eh, your total sales. Eh, so the in this way you're gonna have the cost eh, of of production per unity per unit, and you have to the ideal is that you sell the the product at least, but this amount by cover the cost of production. And that's the cost of production. I don't know if you have any question. No question. Okay. It's your turn, Emma. Okay, my turn. Okay, the paragraph size that is the, is the second most the, the important factor for the company, the market demand of product or service. Um, to say, um, I'll say that demand is inversely that the, that the price mm -hmm. uh -huh. what do you understand by that? In your own words, what does it mean? Uh, 
about what teacher? About the market demand for a product service. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo que entiende? Este, Elmer estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, sí, ya, 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 ya. Ok, I understand the, the, um, in the price and the market demand have a, 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 a re relación, no sé cómo lo sé. Relation? Relation, relation. Mm -hmm. uh, if the if the price rises, the the demand uh, goes down, goes down. Um, the the um, the manager of a store and have have considered the the demand product for um, para poner el precio del producto to add the price to add the price the product uh -huh. mm. No sé qué más. Ok, the group, do you have any question? Any question? No, no. teacher. No questions. Ok. Ok, my turn. We are discussing about determining the markup of a product. So, the markup is the amount that you add to your product of what you want to earn. And you, you determine, 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 mm -hmm. de determine. Okay. you determine the selling price of your product as a result of the sum of your cost and the amount you are planning to, to receive as a profit. Mm -hmm. So that's it, a markup of a product. <laughs> Do you have any question? The markup. The markup. You can deter, determine the markup by, by as a percentage of your selling or a percentage of your cost or an, an amount of, what do you say? Uh, Ay, se me fue la palabra, un, un monto fijo. A fixed. A fixed, eso. Mm -hmm. A fixed amount. So, um, that's it. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh. We have to answer the questions, right? Okay. Okay, the first question is, what are the most important factors to, cons to consider when setting a price? I'm going to share the screen. You? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Let me know if you can see. Yes. Okay. Yes. The first one. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? The cost. Mm -hmm. but the cost of production, right? Of, a pro of the product. The most important 
Cost of the product of a product. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cost of a product of production, so yeah, right? The cost of production. The cost of production. Uh -huh. Fix fixed and variable. Right? And so no. Yes. Okay. Then second one. What are some examples of fixed cost? Te faltó lo uno. The planet profit. Ay, es cierto, es cierto. The what? Planet profit. The planet? Profit. Profit. Así? Yes. Okay. Hmm. What else? Hmm. Ah, the demon. The demand. Mm -hmm. demand. Hey. Next. Yes. But what are some example of fixed cost? <laughs> some some <laughs> more, more, more change. More change. More change. More more cash. More cash. Yes. I don't I don't understand. Mm, more cash. Or is ah yeah, more cash? What's more cash? Uh -huh. What is that? Así se escribe. More cash is el el. Ay, ¿Cómo se llama eso? Is la hipoteca. La qué? Hipoteca. Ah. Is the debt ah, that you have yeah, yeah, yeah. for I your know. house <laughs> more okay? More cash, cash. Uh -huh. more cash. 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 What else? Okay. Uh -huh. More cash. More cash. More cash. Electricity era otro, verdad? Okay. Electric. Wages and salaries of employees. ¿Cómo? Wages and salaries of employees. Sa Lo primero no entendí. Wages. Wages son los salarios. Wages. Salarios. Employees, employees es con doble. No, así double era. E. Sí, doble. E. Ok, ah, pues sí. What else? The rent. Mm. Mm. Eh, water. No. Electricity. No. No. Entonces, electricity tampoco. Porque va a depender. Depende de qué estás produciendo. Ajá, pero siempre va a salir lo mismo, por lo menos parecido. Ajá, por eso. No sé. Mm. En fixed costs. No podemos poner como servicios. Services. Ok. Service. Ok, ahorita lo corre. Mm. Services. Ok. Number three, what are examples of variable costs? Hmm. Variable costs. Some examples of 
somebody costs are Vaya, aquí sí entran los raw materials. Raw material. Eh, ¿Qué más habíamos puesto ya que no era? Packaging. Packaging. Pack, no, packing. ¿Cómo era? Packing. Ah. Packing. Packing. Así, ¿verdad? No. Sí. Ajá, vaya. ¿Qué más? What else? Mm, variable cost. Aquí hay bien. Mm. Mm. Variable cost includes items. Mm. No. <laughs> hi, hi. Hello, hello. Anybody here? The amount, of, the amount of service performed by the seller. <laughs> Welcome, teacher. Hi. No vengo callada. ¿eh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's determined by one, two, three, four, and five. Eh? Aspect. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So if you are agree, we can read and answer each question one by one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the number one. Okay. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Fixed, fixed and variable cost. Uh, what are some examples of fixed cost taxes and rent of the bills? Nubia, su turno. Number three. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. What are examples of variable cost? Raw material, sale commissions, gasoline, and services. Mm -hmm. Number four. How does market demand affect the Pricing of your product. As price falls, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. Now, number five uh, what variables influence to determine, determine the markup percentage? Uh, by the amount of the planned profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, and how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of services performed by a seller. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to read the paragraph of the last time? Teacher, we study English or economic? We are studying economy. <laughs> <laughs> Who was in the cost of production? Economista va a ser. Interesting. Economista va a ser. Well, I am going to start with the number one. This, the cost of production. Fixer are variable cost 
determine the selling price of a business and service. Fixed costs include such as the rent for your office or manufacturing manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, volume like la labor and material. In pricing your product, first, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. All through, it may be a difficult calculation a simple formula to help you to add your total fixed cost to your variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimate total sales. <coughs> you will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay. Market demand for a product or service. Mm -hmm. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that business owner should consider when pricing the product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rises, and as price, prices rise, demand falls. Mm -hmm. Demand for the product is just as important to consider when selling a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct rela relationships between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Mm -hmm. Determining the market of a product. Regardless of the type of a small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup. Uh, what variables influence to determine the make markup? No sé por qué digo markup percentage. Mark Es que primero se me viene maquillaje a la mente, Tichi. Es lo de esa palabra. Marca. Marca. No make up. No make up. Make up. <ríe> ¿Qué esa pienso? Leo yo. De marca. Marca. Um... By the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, and how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service service performed by the seller. Oh, I was speaking along. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you were speaking in silence. And you and I and I repeat continually two variable rows, two variable. <laughs> okay, the two variables are the selling selling price and the cost of the product. That's variable influence to determine the market percentage. But in the lab notes, 
in the last part say the markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profile. Uh -huh. The type of the product or service you are selling. How rapidly the product sells and the amount of the service performed. Mm -hmm. That yes. is the, the variable. But there are... Let me... I can hear you. <laughs> it depends. It it depends how you can or how you want to see that to see that. Because if you have a price of five dollars and the and the cost is uh, two and a two and a half, your wish is or you decide you decide your cost is two and a half and you decide to win. 100% your price go gonna be five dollars mm -hmm. so yeah cuál es el margen de ganancia que quieren sí así es por eso sí si vale si le cuesta 250 y dice yo quiero ganar un 100% entonces lo voy a dar en 5 ya yeah. por eso es el precio y el costo. Pero esa no podría ser una variable, sí. ¿El qué? ¿El precio y el costo? No. Ajá. Sí, pero, pero varía, o sea, sí es variable. No puede ser fijo. Pero para determinar la utilidad, entiendo que podría ser este, la forma en cómo lo vende, la rapidez con la que lo vende. Mm, no. No. Ahí solamente toma en cuenta los costos y el margen de ganancia. Ya lo otro tiene que, si quiere venderlo rápido, tiene que bajar su margen de ganancia. Hay gente que va queriendo ganar demasiado. Uh -huh. Like me. <risas> si usted va queriendo ganar demasiado, corre el riesgo de no... De no Overstock. Overstock, teacher. Overstock, exactly. Mm -hmm. Ahí se cumple el market demand of, for a products of service. Exactly. Yes. If you, if you, for, imagine, for trying to, to get more money, eh, you will, you will make, no, you will spend all the money and you will have a lot of things kept and you won't sell them because people will don't want to pay too much so you that's why all the study of the market first right so you ask the people how much they will pay for x product before you spend too much in the product because if people will not pay you what you have spent and more for the profit or the market, don't do it. Because if the product is too expensive and the people will not buy it, don't do it. Mm -hmm. So check that, right? You finished. Yes, teacher. Vámonos, pues. Let's go. Let's go.
Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, seconds to come. Teacher, I guess we finished. You finished, right? You finished? Yes. Okay. yes. See, yeah, we're just waiting for the ones that haven't come. They will come in a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. Ready. <laughs> okay, but who will be my first volunteer? Volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer. Who's my volunteer? We, we volunteer. have to do just answer the questions or explain uh, the definition. Tell me the part that you were reading. I will need one for the first question, then another for the second question. Another, well, for the, the readings, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I read the part three, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go on. Eh, I, can I, eh, lo, lo comparto, number three, no importa, it doesn't matter the, the order. Sí, no problem. Okay, okay. well, the, the part that I was reading, well, the group that we were reading was the markup Determine the markup of a product. Markup of a product. Mm -hmm. So the markup of a product is the cost that you add to the product to determine the markup of the final profit. Sí. And that it depends of, on the many aspects. For example, hey, the type of the product, the service, and how uh, rapidly, rapidly the product sells. And I remember only this. Mm -hmm. Only Anna? Yes, teacher. Only? Yes, it is only that. Okay, thank you, Anna. Somebody from another group to chair? Another volunteer. Anna was in group number three. A ver, somebody from group one or two. Mm -hmm. 
volunteer. Volunteer. A ver, ¿quién me quiere hablar del primero? De cost of production. Cost of production. Adriana, Marcela, Elda, Alberto. Cost of production. Oh. I'm going to try to explain. Okay. Uh, cost of production. Uh, practically, what? Uh, you have a, a formula to calculate uh, this cost of production that includes the variable cost and the fixed cost. Uh, you have to add uh, this, uh, those, this uh, cost, then you divide the total uh, by your estimated total sales. Uh, with this formula, you have the cost of production per unit. Uh, the, the, now the point is that you have to sell uh, the product at least at this amount uh, for cover the cost of production. Mm -hmm. That's all. And for not losing money, right? Exactly. Okay, thank you. For recuperate. Yes. And number two, Elmer, Alfredo, Nubia, Victor. Uh -huh. We'll speak. Victor, the microphone. <laughs> Okay. Hable solito. Okay. So we was discussing about the three factors, important factors to the uh, to the set the price of the product. Um in, in the in the process of the the launch to the market the product the selling price, the cost of the product, and the demand, the law of the demand. So in, in special, the law of the demand say there is a relationship between the price and the demand. Is the price for the demand rise? If the price rise, the demon fall. So what else? Um, the last and three factor, and this is uh, very important to, to owner of business, is to set the market percentage. So the market percentage is the, is the rate you add to the cost you want to win for each product. How much money you want to earn, right? Yes, how much money you want to earn. Money. So is so we think that variable uh, to determine the market percentage is the the cost and the percentage of what you want to earn. Mm -hmm. That's all. Exactly. Very good. Now let's go to the questions. I'm going to share here. Let's go to the questions. First question. Hey. Espérame que este mi mouse agarra para donde él quiere. Tiene vida propia. Okay, question number one. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price? Hmm? What are the most Fees. important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Tell me, Nubia. 
fixed um, variable cost. Yes, definitely. What are some examples of fixed costs? A ver, volunteer, volunteer. volunteer I mean, I mean rent. Examples the of rent. Uh -huh, the um, rent. Um, some bills. I don't know how to say, um, well, for example, recibo de la luz, el del agua. Bill, water, the water. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. What are examples of variable costs? What are some examples of variable costs? The freight. The? Repeat. The, the freight. Okay, what else? I the thought material. services. Okay. I thought services are variable cost features. Yes, yes. What about the shipping? Can that be variable or fixed? Can you repeat, please? What about the shipping? Shipping. Shipping is taxes. They are variable. They are variable. The flete. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It depends variable. on where you're bringing the material that you're using, right? Uh -huh. The raw material will be a variable cost too. So commissions. commissions. The commissions, if you're giving commissions to the people. That's yes. all right. Yes. Okay. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? A mayor yes. cost. Yes. Okay. Mayor costo, menor demanda. No, ¿cómo es? Sí, ¿verdad? A precios bajos hay más demanda. Exactly. Cuando el precio sube, la demanda baja. Ajá. Por ejemplo, when the gas eh, is very expensive, people don't want to. Don't want Bye. to go out. <laughs> right? They don't want to go out. Because they say, no, that's too expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the next question? So if you have, if the price is more expensive, the demand, low, the demand lowers, if the demand increases the price, what happens to the price? A mayor precio, dice, menor demanda. Y a mayor demanda. Low price. Low price. Very good. A ver, what variables influence to determine the market percentage? What variables influence to determine the market percentage? Mm -hmm. The amount of your planet profit. Okay. The type of the product or service you are selling. Mm -hmm. How rapidly, rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Exactly. Yay, very good. Any questions here? Questions, questions? No questions. That's talking about products and prices, right? Mm -hmm. How to calculate the cost of a product or the price that you want to give to a product. Well, I'm going to stop sharing for meeting. We will finish early today. <laughs> I'm going to go for the attendance, the last attendance of the day. Let's see, Adriana, Sofia. Present. Can I send the homework tomorrow, teacher? Mm? Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You can write it. Analicia. Present, teacher. 
Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, no, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. No. Karen Stephanie tampoco. Ok. Eh, David. Presente, Chor. ¿Ya llegó? No, yet. Yes, yes, ahorita. Ok. Diego. Diego, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Present. Ah. Present. <laughs> Dos por uno. Present, present. <laughs> yeah. Ivo Marcela. Okay. Y Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay. Jessica Lisset, José Alberto, present teacher, Karen Janet, present teacher, Carla Lorena, Carla Lorena, oh. no está Carla Lorena, Lisset Dayanara, present teacher, Nubia, present teacher, Rebecca, Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Victor. I am speaking along. See, present teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, Karen and Stephanie. No, no. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Oh. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno, bueno. Muy bien. Se queda conmigo Rebeca. Rebeca Marcela. Bueno, see you. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Thank Have a nice you. weekend. Bye bye. Happy weekend. Nos, nos falta un minuto. Thank you. Un minuto. No se vayan que le va a falta. Ah, mira, todos se quieren quedar hoy. Ay, pues. No, teacher, es que me había dicho que viernes me iba sí, a quedar. Sí, sí. Pero no, me voy. Es que, es que no, es que se acuerda que un día, eh, allí, a, a, el día que le tocaba quedarse a Nubia. Yo me voy, bye. <ríe> terminamos <ríe> bien tarde. Hoy sí, no, falta medio segundo. Ah, hoy sí, ahí está. Que les mando. Ah. Es... Thank you, teacher. Happy Feliz fin de semana. Happy weekend. Eh, Thank you. Happy weekend. weekend. No sé. God bless you. Yo no veo a Rebeca, fíjese, Rosy. Va, pero me quiero ver. Ya me iba a salir. Ay, pero ya no. Sí, no, no, no veo a Rebeca, se fue. Bueno. Ah. Ok. Sí, teacher, usted me ha dicho que viernes yo. Es que no, es que sabe qué pasó. Que un día, el día que le tocaba quedarse a Nubia, eh, nos salimos bien tarde. Ah, Entonces ajá. le dije a Nubia, ya no, si terminamos pasadas las 10 y, y 12. Ay, que el, fue el día que estuvo bien interesante, ¿verdad? Al final. Ajá. Entonces le dije ajá. a Nubia, no, Nubia, mañana mejor, porque qué hora íbamos a terminar, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso. Por eso fue que, que nos, nos quedamos así. Ah, ya. Ajá, por eso es que estaba, estaba todavía corrido. Ok. Ok, Rosy, tell me, do you have any questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, in the tema. Uh -huh. uh, in addition, for more. I don't understand complete. What don't you understand? Uh, for example, when they use, no, when, cuando hay que usar, en qué momento hay que usar cada palabra? Ahí dependientemente de, bye. Si usted quiere, si usted solamente va a usar una, puede usar in addition, que es la que más común. 
que es la más común. Uh -huh. Ya va a agregar todavía otra idea más, puede usar fuerte hormona. Pero no es de que tiene que usarlas todas corriditas en un párrafo, porque eh, usted, si solo va a ocupar una, puede escoger cuál, ¿verdad? La más. No importa cuál sea. No. La más común, diríamos, para agregar algo es in addition o further more, son las que más se ven. Pero independientemente de si usted quiere agregar una idea extra, puede usar cualquiera, ¿verdad? Que vayan con addition. Entonces, ya si va a ocupar eh, dos, digamos, en la primera pone in addition y en la segunda. Ya, o sea, ya para agregar, primero tiene una idea, in addition, agrega otra idea y después furthermore para agregar una idea más. Para que no vaya in addition, in addition, in addition. Ajá, no puede usar in addition, in addition, in addition. Entonces, por eso es que hay varias palabras para agregar otras ideas, para que no se dé el caso como, por ejemplo, cuando usamos solo an, 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 ¿verdad? Para unir cada una de las cosas que se van agregando. Entonces, la primera vez puede usar an como para unir algo chiquito, pero después que va a agregar toda una frase, acuérdese que estas son eh, coordinating conjunctions, usted está uniendo eh, dos frases o, o dos clauses, ¿verdad? Y ya en las transitions, que son estas, de furthermore, however, y in addition, en la, cuando usted ocupa transitions, ya no está agregando una palabra como cuando ocupa las conjunctions, ¿se acuerdan? Uh -huh. Que por eso empezamos primero con and y but, para que ustedes vieran addition y contrast, pero así en chiquito. Uh -huh. Porque usted solo está agregando, puede agregar una oración chiquita con otra oración chiquita y unirlas con and. O puede agregar solamente una palabra. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, she's very intelligent and beautiful. Allí no me va a decir, she's very intelligent in addition. Okay. No, porque no se puede. ¿Verdad? Y ocupa una conjunction, que, es, que está uniendo algo chiquito. Pero las conjunctions las ocupa cuando está uniendo dos ideas largas, o sea, dos oraciones bien largas. O si quiere eh, unir dos párrafos. Entonces, usted da cierta información en un párrafo y quiere agregarle más información. Entonces, no puede empezar un párrafo con la palabra an, uh -huh. pero sí puede empezarlo con furthermore. ¿Verdad? Entonces, recuerda la, la puntuación que decíamos, puede usar, eh, termina la primera idea, punto, y después, furthermore, coma. Y sigue con la otra idea que está agregando. O igual con in addition, ¿verdad? Termina la primera idea, punto. Después in addition. Y después coma. Y sigue con la nueva idea que está agregando. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. sí. O, o la otra forma es que en vez de poner punto, pone un punto y coma, que es el semicolon. ¿Verdad? Cualquiera de las dos. Cualquiera de las dos que quiera poner un semicolon o un punto antes de transition. Pero antes de un conjunction, como en el caso de an o bat, lo que pone es una coma. Antes. Ok. Sí, que mi confusión es como la... Hay varias que significa además, además, además. Pensé que había alguna regla para usar cada una. No. Pero que la única regla sería prácticamente en addition, en algo largo se puede ocupar máximo dos veces y de ahí adaptar otra palabra. Una vez, una vez nada más. Una, una vez. Sí. Una vez. Ah, okay. Después, es que en inglés, bueno, en inglés y en español, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros escribimos, siempre andamos buscando evitar la repetición. Sí. Entonces, por eso es que aparece, por eso es que existen los sinónimos, para que cuando escribimos no se repitan las mismas palabras una y otra vez, sino que una vez ponemos una, otra vez ponemos otra y otra vez ponemos otra. Entonces, imagínense que usted está escribiendo un texto. Entonces, ya 
ya utilizó en addition, más adelante ya no está en addition porque quiere agregar otra idea, ocupa por the morning. Y así va cambiando de palabra en cuanto va escribiendo porque no puede estar poniendo in addition, in addition, in addition todo el tiempo. Okay. Pues ahí va a ir variando de palabra a palabra, ¿verdad? Para que eh, tenga coherencia, cohesion, ¿verdad? Y eh, pueda fluir fácilmente y no se sienta monótono. Entonces ahí lo que sucede con todas esas palabras que tiene ahí que son sinónimos. Significan además, usted puede usar cualquiera de ellas en un determinado momento. Ok. ¿En sí, sí, sí. por allí? No, teacher, esa era la duda que tenía, que no lo entendí muy bien en el momento de la clase. Uh -huh. Pero acuérdate, es que veces... eh, uh -huh. son como más formal, cuando usamos los transitions, son más formales que las conjunctions. Uh -huh. Aquí ya estamos uniendo oraciones más complejas. Ya como para exponer un tema o hablarlo ya en una reunión como más... Sí. Si usted está escribiendo un párrafo grande o un, bueno, un texto que no es solo un párrafo, sino que son varios párrafos lo que está escribiendo, entonces puede ocupar transitions, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. sí, pues sí. sí. ¿Y cuándo vamos a quitarnos el miedo? Uy. Es que, dicho yo no sé qué me pasa, pero sí, ya estoy haciendo eso que usted me dijo, dedicarle un momento. Por ejemplo, trato la manera de darle una leída y agarrar algunas palabras que no conozco. Ya en la clase ya me siento un poquito más con confianza. Ya entiendo, porque hubo una vez cuando, no me recuerdo qué clase fue, pero es que yo no entendí nada en toda la clase. Así, o sea, lo que usted decía cuando le explicaba, sí, pero cuando ya lo quería asimilar, ya, ya no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero me estaba, como yo misma me estaba bloqueando en el aspecto de que como no conocí el tema en español, mucho menos en inglés. Pero me ayudó mucho cuando usted me dijo, no, que no, que ya habíamos visto bastantes días eso y que realmente, pues ya lo tendría que dominar entonces digo, la ticha tiene razón tengo que hacer algo para entenderlo y sí, gracias a Dios ya le voy entendiendo más Sí, y es que fíjese que aquí vamos viendo un montón de temas que para algunos quizás no son como muy muy conocidos digamos verdad mm. yo me voy adaptando con ellos porque mi curso de especialización en la universidad fue emprendedurismo Ah, por eso ticha ¿Ah? <risa> pero igual yo leo verdad leo qué es lo que me toca dar porque hay cosas que pues sí de dos años tres años cuatro cinco cuatro <risa> eh, a uno se le olvidan las cosas verdad entonces hay que refrescar siempre hay que andar refrescando la memoria porque ya después de un rato ya se puede olvidar pero sí ayuda Teacher, pero fíjese que no es miedo porque si se fija, usted me dice que participe, yo participo, o sea, no, no es ni siquiera miedo a equivocarme porque me gusta cuando me equivoco porque cuando usted me corrige en el momento, yo lo recuerdo más rápido. Exacto. es que y, y sé que mis compañeros, algunos por pena no preguntan y sé que les sirve también esa parte, uh -huh. pero no sé cuando me toca hacerlo, me bloqueo todavía, me bloqueo, me, me, mi mente no me da más. No sé, eso tengo que, que dominarlo, porque sí, cuando usted explica yo entiendo, cuando los compañeros hablan yo entiendo, pero ya cuando me quiero expresar es como que nada, me quedo a cero. Sí, ahí lo que haga es que póngase a hablar solita. No, sí, ¿va a creer que con mi hijo me pongo a hablar y él me responde mejor que yo? Sí, eso, eso ayuda a la práctica, a la práctica, para que al final... Eh, natural le va a salir. Yo a veces entiendo que este idioma es, bueno, estamos este sometiendo bastante y es como cuando uno comienza a hablar, ¿verdad? Que no le enseñan ni siquiera escritura de nada y uno ya comienza a entender las cosas. Exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. 
Sí, allí, y es que fíjense que como los temas están bastante avanzaditos. Están bonitos, o sea, ya me estoy emocionando, en serio, un principio me había bloqueado, pero yo misma me estaba poniendo esa barrera. Sí. Me sirvió mucho su llamado de atención, teacher, en serio. <risa> A ver, hay falta una sacudidita. Sí, y lástima, yo quisiera poderles poner videos y mandarles a hacer links, mandarles a hacer juegos, pero no se puede. Porque entonces eh, YouTube me... ¿ya? Si me sí, sanciona bueno. un video y me lo quita, me tocaría que reponer la clase entera entonces, para poder subir el video. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, o bajar el video y ver qué parte es la que no va, qué es lo que, dónde está, el, se le puso el video, qué hay que quitarlo, qué hay que eliminarlo. Entonces, por los derechos de autor. De autor. Exacto. Por eso es que no, no se puede. Pero allí en el manual tienen algunos videos que lamentablemente, como le digo, yo no los puedo poner. Yo quisiera, ¿verdad? Pero no los puedo poner. Una vez me arriesgué y así. Después socando y cruzando los dedos cuando se estaba eh, viendo el video, porque dije, ay, ¿qué me va a mandar? Que, que no y que no. Pero no, vean, menos mal, pero porque se los puse en mudo. Mm. El video se los puse en mudo y que me recuerdo que me dijeron otra vez, tiche, y yo le dije, no, ya me arriesgué con ponérselos una vez, no lo puedo volver a repetir. Pero eh, ustedes perfectamente pueden entrar a los links y pueden ver los videos, escucharlos, ¿verdad? Hay lecturas sobre los temas y hay videos. Y esa es una forma también de irse exponiendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Al, al tema. ¿Y sabe lo que me dio pena? <risa> que este, justamente este tema, me meto al video y son unos niños, están así como practicando con unos niños. Y yo, ay, no, y lo que yo no he entendido son los niños, sí. Ay. Ah, pero así se va poco a poco. Sí. Poco a poco, cuando menos sienta, va a decir, ay, sí, yo corro. Ah, no, primero Dios. Y usted nos va a dar el próximo curso, a saber. Es que a saber, todavía no sabemos cómo vamos a estar, pero hay que ponerse las pilas siempre. Sí, porque a veces pienso que hasta me pueden regresar a otro, a otro nivel, porque no arranco. No, usted ponga las pilas. Bueno, eso pilas. voy a hacer. Póngase a oír, a oír cosas y, y ya va a ver que se va a ir acostumbrando. Sí, eso voy a hacer. Tich. Vaya, pues, Rosy, la dejo que vaya a dormir. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Buenas noches y feliz fin de semana. Yes, see you, see you. Bye, bye. Descanse, bye. Thank you.